to the breath. Breathing easily and naturally and perhaps lengthening on your next out breath. A couple beats longer, really letting go, really releasing on that out breath, which naturally of course propels a deeper inhalation, supported by the earth, really, really releasing to the earth, letting gravity pull your body down. And the earth rises up to greet you, just really holding you. As always, as we go, remembering when other thoughts come into the mind, that's just the mind doing its job noticing that that's happened very gently from neutrality, no judgment, no grasping, not wanting things to be different, just gently guiding your back, uh, guiding your mind back over and over again to wherever we are. So visualizing yourself at the top of a long flight of stairs. Seeing yourself at the top of a long flight of stairs. You can't see the bottom. This flight of stairs is so long, you can't even see where it goes. And you just hover at the top. You wait there. You sense this is a very friendly, welcoming place. And something compels you in your own time to begin to descend this flight of stairs. This is a, a journey that you just feel you must undertake, not under any pressure. It just feels like the right natural thing to do. You're completely safe and at home, happy. And you walk slowly and confidently down. And you find yourself completely content, fully in the moment, confident. Your heart is full. You find your face is smiling. Very childlike, it's curious. innocent, and completely safe. Just walking down this flight of stairs slowly and confidently. Really content. At some point, you come to a landing. And at this landing, you pause and breathe. As you begin to take in your surroundings, here you notice there's a corridor. 
And when you're ready in your own time, you make your way toward the beginning of this corridor. And you pause there, soaking in this experience. You notice here that it's a very long corridor with many doors on each side. You can't see the end of the corridor. It stretches on and on beyond where you can see. Once again, you sense this is a friendly, welcoming place. When you're ready in your own time, you begin to walk slowly and confidently along this long corridor. Carefree, happy, held, safe. Just walking with eager curiosity. And at some point, you come to a door on your left. And for some reason, this particular door draws your attention. Something about this door causes you to pause. Intuitively, you know there's something different about this particular door, something special. You wait at the door. When you're ready in your own time and in your own way, you open this door. You feel compelled. You know it's the right thing to do. You open this door and you find yourself in a memory of a time in your life you felt completely loved. And here you soak in this memory using all your senses. The sense of touch. Of taste. sense of smell. The sense of sound, hearing. The sense of sight. A time you felt completely and utterly loved. You absorb this memory using all your senses, thoughts and feelings.
And at some point you notice a small symbol of this experience, small enough that if it were a physical object, and it might be, it would fit in the palm of your hand. So some kind of symbol representing this experience finds its way into the palm of your hand. And you place that item, the symbol of complete and utter love in your left pocket. And you return in your own time when you're ready back to the corridor and you proceed down the corridor. You walk slowly and confidently. You still can't see the end of the corridor. You feel held and safe, carefree, happy, childlike. You continue to notice doors on both sides of the corridor. And you proceed in your own time, in your own way. Walking. At some point, a particular door on your right stands out. It calls to you. You intuitively know there's something here for you. This particular door, you wait outside it. When you're ready in your own time and in your own way, you decide to enter this door on your right. And inside you find a memory of a time you offered unconditional love to another being. A memory of a time you offered unconditional love to another. And soak this experience in using all your senses. What do you feel? What do you notice? What happens in your mind? What sensations occur on your skin? What sounds are present? What aromas fill your nostril? What 
What do you taste in your mouth? What do you see with your eyes as you offer unconditional love to another? At some point, a small symbol of this time, of this experience, makes its way to the palm of your hand. A symbol of this experience floats into your hand. The symbol encapsulates this experience, so you may take it with you. You place it in your right pocket and return to the doorway in your own time and in your own way. You find yourself back in the corridor and when you're ready, after a pause, You slowly walk confidently down the corridor of doors. At some point, you reach the end of the corridor. Where once again, there's a door. At this door, you pause. When you're ready in your own time and in your own way, you open the door and you find yourself in a favorite place in nature, one of your favorite natural places. You may never have noticed before, but it turns out there's a cave in this favorite place of yours. You're drawn to the cave. At the cave opening, you pause. When you're ready in your own time and in your own way, You enter the cave. Finding it dark, you remove the symbols out of both of your pockets and you find they illuminate this cave. And that illumination reveals a message. You receive the message.
this message becomes infused in your very being. Deep into every cell of your body. It can never be taken away from you. When you're ready, you place both symbols back in your pockets. You bring the message with you. You leave the cave. You slowly walk through one of your favorite places in nature. You return to the end door in the corridor. You pause for a moment, incorporating the message, remembering it deeply, knowing you will always have it with you. You begin to slowly walk down the corridor. You pause at the beginning of the stairs. When you're ready in your own time and in your own way, you slowly begin walking back up the stairs. As you ascend, you become even happier, even lighter. You found you are letting go of things you didn't even know were holding you down. Your heart is lighter, your body is lighter. Thoughts and memories and fears and worries that you didn't even know were holding you back are shed as you walk. You leave them behind. You reach the top of the stairs. You turn back and gently bow to the stairway, remembering all that you experienced. Your heart is filled with gratitude. The corners of your lips turn up in a gentle smile. And you begin to notice that you're back in your body in this time, in this place, as you lengthen your out breath. Which propels you to breathe a little bit more deeply on the next in breath. Perhaps beginning some very subtle movements in your body perhaps using the tip of your thumb to awaken the tips of each of your fingers, perhaps wiggling your fingers and toes, and then perhaps stretching a little bit more, and then a little bit more, and then a little bit more, and coming back to the present moment. When you're ready, gently fluttering your eyes open. 